Hey, what's up everybody? It's Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2, and I am going to be doing a miniature series over MySQL stored routines. Just so you guys get an idea of how, what the series is going to be like, I'm just going to try and do a video by video. I have a rough outline of what I want to do, but I'm not planning every single video out, so we'll see how this series goes. If I make 10 videos and I have some more ideas, I might throw some more in there. The level of difficulty for this series is beginner. It's basically a continuation of my 67 part MySQL series. And we're just gonna continue where we left off, go over some more topics, but it's all gonna be introductory level. So to get started, what is a routine? Well, if you think of the word routine, and we're not talking computer science here, a routine is something you do continually. You wake up and you have a routine for your day. Well, it's very similar in MySQL. With MySQL, you can make a routine and then you can call that routine multiple times. So let me just illustrate this with some boxes. Also, I just thought I'd show you guys my sweet decal. Uh, my dad drew this. <laughs> All right, so, Let's say this is a routine, and you have a bunch of code in there, and you want to execute that number of, a number of times. Like it might calculate something, or it might be some kind of algorithm or something like that. And you have a couple of options. First, every time you need to run that algorithm, you could just write it out yourself. And then you'd have to memorize all that code or go reference the file of where you saved it. And then once you need it again in the future, you could write it out again. And clearly you could see why this is a problem because you have a lot of repeated code and you have to memorize a lot of things and it makes your life as a programmer, a database developer or database administrator a lot harder. So an alternative is to just have one routine and then whenever you need to execute this stuff, you just reference it and you call it, you invoke it there's a bunch of different words you could use for that. And then if you need, you can pass some data in. So let's say this is an algorithm of like calculating a discount or something stupid. I don't know. Well, you could, you could pass in the price. So let's say you pass in $100 and then the stored procedure does the magical calculations and then you get the new discounted price. That's just an example. And we'll be getting into the details of the different kinds of stored procedures and all that good stuff. So hopefully you guys are excited. I'm excited. As you go through this course, you're going to get a rough overview of all of this stuff. I'm not going to go super in depth. We're not going to make this reference material, really. This is more for education's sake. So by the end of this series, this little miniature series, you're going to have a rough idea what all of these things are. And it's going to help empower you in your database development. But it's not going to make you an expert. This is to get your hands dirty, get you started on stored routines, functions, variables, and some more programming-like things like procedural programming and all that good stuff with MySQL. So, continuing the 67 part series that everybody loves, this is the next level, a little bit more difficult stuff. We'll see how it goes and let me, let me know what you guys think of this series and if you have any suggestions for videos, Leave them in the comments because I'm kind of open for ideas. So thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video.